Hello, hello, kiddos. Tango and Sue. I have no excuse, excuse for being late, except that I was um, trying to get a video of our girl. She's done. She's done. Goodness gracious. So this is what happens when we use up leftover paint. Not bad. I mean, not bad at all. <laughs> So, and with all the pieces we got yesterday, I'm almost feeling like we should do the inverse on the next piece. Is that crazy? Hello, everybody. Welcome. I am Tanglewood Sue coming at you from the studio where I, hello, Heather. Did you see I named option D after you? People are like, I choose the Heather. I choose the Betty. That was so fun. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, which I'm sure is often, um, for those of you who've been following along, Chris, Liz, and Heather, we've been painting my house, and I am trying to figure out how to do the top, and I've painted the windows twice, and I don't like them. So I did a rendering, a very terrible rendering online this morning, and I made A, B, C, D, and I named them both based on who had suggested those colors. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. And I posted it on my site and then shared it on two um, groups that I'm in, DIY Boho, super fun group, and Eclectic Maximalist. So here's what's funny about the Boho group, you guys. It's, I, it's very divided. Uh, it's a lovely group, but there's boho. I want to hear what you guys think. When you hear boho, do you think color, crazy, fun, funky, opal, just tango with Sue? Or do you think macrame, Hanging plants, neutrals, blonde wood, rattan, wicker, subtle variations in shades of tan. That's okay, Lorraine. That, no, it's totally fine. So what's fun is when you post in these maximalist groups, like you just cannot go too far. You're like, I spilled paint and I decided to uh, get naked and roll in it and roll it on my walls and everybody's like clap yay <laughs> but on the DIY boho group I think Heather you're in that group um, like everybody all day long been like a B C D it was so fun until this gal got on there just a second ago and was like none <laughs> none and I was like all right whatever there's always a troll like, didn't your mama teach you if you ain't got nothing nice to say? Jeez Louise, we need to go back to what we learned in kindergarten. But I was like, whatever. There's always going to be somebody. None. Um, then don't answer. Get off my survey. But then she wrote, writes again with like this, this face. So I said, I just texted her back. I was like, I got it. <laughs> your opinion has been logged. Then, but then I felt bad that she wrote me back and she goes, 70s is start. You love the, wait, hold on. Show me, you love the Amber style we knew has been replaced with this new blend 70s. Right, well, so Amber, which is which? Is which? Like, I think of Bohemian as worldly, and worldly, if you've gone out of this country, people, even if you've crossed a single border in your life, even if you've gotten close to the border, the rest of the world is so much more colorful than we are. I mean, say what you will about like England and their bland food. They paint with a lot more color than we do. Their apartments are much more fun. I haven't even been to Mexico, but I don't even need to know that. Of course it is. Um, I don't know of any other place in the world that's as bland as, as we are here in Pottery Barn land. That's why I loved Ikea, because Ikea was like, at least it had some color. I mean, that stuff wasn't going to last, but um, it was fun because it brought color, and I was like, oh, this is going to work. And then Chip and Joanna. Yeah, they're lovely people. Yes, they're good-hearted people. Yes, they're like the good version of, like, good people. But um, 
Damn, I don't, their style. Oh, I actually just watched them on Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man or something. Um, they are lovable people. I mean, they really are. But oh, the more they're likable, the more their trend takes hold and becomes all we know. Shiplap, white, chrome, wood. Anyway. Anyway, so yeah, boho should be colorful, right? It doesn't need to be rattan and 70s macrame. Why Why is boho, like, I'm, I love this page, but like every other post is something macrame. What? I don't understand. Do I need to, I, I keep thinking, oh, I need to start a group. I have a group, Tanglewood Upcycle Junkies. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> Thank you for that, Amber. <gasps> um, oh, you guys are all on me. Yes, maybe gypsy, but then gypsy, gypsy's a derogatory term. But yet, we've embraced it in a positive way, but it's actually not, I don't know. I don't know, maybe y'all can, um, and give me one. <laughs> Nick, you're just contrary. You're just being contrary with me. Let's all give Nick a round of applause though. Can we all give Nick a round of applause? Right, bohemian, worldly, right? Isn't that what it means? This is all because of Nick. All of this that we are gonna have fun painting, we owe to Nick. Because while I rested my head yesterday because I have not been sleeping well and I am beyond exhausted, I am punchy, because I cannot sleep for more than an hour and a half at a time. I have not seen REM sleep in like a week. Um, so I tried to take a nap and, and Nick kept waking me up I, I like stainless steel too, Betty, I gotta say. Um, I don't like getting the fingerprints off of it, though. No, I don't. Um, and then he said, here's some furniture, and if you guys missed that adventure, man, it was a short one online because I could not hold the camera the whole time. Y'all gotta check that out, because that was some funny. That was some funny. Um, I apologize again for the um, underwear shots. Nothing like wearing a mini skirt and putting your phone on the ground while you... Um, I, the only reason I know that is because um, I had to go back. Wait, Amber, okay. There's a huge cult following of Jungalo. Justine, more colorful. Oh, oh, Amber, I'll go look. I'll go look. I'll go look. I tried to tag something on TikTok as maximalist and like, Nobody knew what I was talking about. And that's kind of a new word for me too. Um, I'm putting all of our colors in a bin here. Um, anyway, so yeah, she didn't care for my, she did not care for my house colors. Um, I'm actually surprised at how many people like them. I'm actually not used to people, um, I'm used to people being intrigued by what I do. I don't know if liking what I do, I kind of, I kind of let go of that need. Amber, I will totally go look for that. I love being um, introduced to other things. I sometimes feel like, why does it take me so long? Like, why did it take me so long to figure out Maximalist? Or, um, or even Boho, really, right? I know. Betty, I swear to God, like, it's just like an hour, an hour, an hour. So last night what I did just looking at some of your comments that I missed. If you take, oh, that's what you're saying, Amber. If you take boho and add a lot of plants, it's jungalo. <laughs> okay. Okay, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, it's like I took melatonin. I took an Advil PM because my knee was hurting really bad. And I had a spoonful of honey with Himalayan sea salt. Hear me out. My neighbor downstairs suggested that, and I wasn't sure about that. But I was like, what do I have to lose? Eat a spoonful of honey. And I gotta say, the first time I tried it, I slept through the night. It's something to do with your body releasing the sugars in honey and where you're in your REM sleep. All I know is I wake up at two, four, six, and seven. And I'm so sick of seeing the light at two, four, six, seven. 
So, hi, Cheryl. Hello, hello, Froilin. Okay, let us talk about what's happening here. It is really hot in here. I should not have worn a long shirt. Let's talk about what's happening. I am feeling, I wanna go on the next layer of this, okay? So for those of you just joining us, I had a gal who, who wanted to buy a chartreuse from me. And I was like, I don't have anything chartreuse. I love chartreuse, but I don't have anything. I do want to, um, yes, yes, it can be seen as yellow, Nick. <laughs> I do want to preface this by saying I am under fluorescent lights. So this is a little, and that's why I opened the door, and I'm going to pull down my biker shorts here, because um, I'm always adjusting on camera. Um, this is a little bit more, it looks a little more green in this light, and so... Um, we're gonna have some fun with that. Here's what I'm thinking. This is our under layer. We did all these different things. We did, we mixed black and we mixed farmhouse. So here are the colors today. If you guys wanna get them, you can order them right from me. We use um, Miss Lillian's No Wax Chuck Paint. You started keep, does it, Chris, did that work, the honey? Okay, uh, in farmhouse. And then we mixed with a little onyx to get this deep green here, okay? And then I mixed in the eccentric lime or limelight, either one of those work. They're very similar in color. I don't remember which one I carry in the store. I either carry, this is limelight. I either carry limelight or eccentric lime, but they're, they're like one shade off of each other in my opinion. So what I wanna do is start going over this today. Um, I don't know how much I wanna peek through or not. I'm really not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you down here. I am a little punchy today, you guys. I apologize. Like, I just could not get things done today, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Because usually when, I'm just grabbing a drink. Usually when, in the water bottle, um, I can't sleep, like I'll want to sleep in in the morning, right? But I'm up. I'm like up at seven. Thank you for sharing, Betty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My assistant, uh, my new assistant, Victoria, um, we had like a two hour conversation today. We always say, let's have a quick conversation, but I can tell we just like each other and we are very similar in, in our ways, except she's much more of a project manager, but she's also creative. And we always say, let's just have a quick meeting. And then it's like two hours later because we're like, oh, and then, and then, and then, and then. But she was like, who is Betty? I was like, Betty, Betty is awesome. That's what Betty is. That's who Betty is. And I said that, because um, Betty, she's like, who's the one who always shares? I'm like, Betty, you're up at 4 a.m.? See, I'm not, I'm not usefully up. That's the thing. We're going to mix, we're going to mix these two. It's not like I'm like, oh, well, let me get something done. I mean, that's not happening. All right. So I'm mixing up my hair, evidently, and the limelight. And I want to get this just right. I may add, that's pretty close. It's very yellow. I'm going to add just a, just a smidge of black. If you take local and pasteurized honey, I have a, I have a gal who follows me, Maggie, Maggie Mills. She has, she, she makes honey. Well, she doesn't make it. She lets the bees do it, but from your local beekeeper. How do you take it? Because um, I've never really had allergies before and they've just been killing me. So between allergies and insomnia, let's mix a little black in there. All right, that's working. I'm just gonna keep mixing these colors up. Hey, Heather. I want to cover the camo base with the chartreuse. Um, and see what happens. See if it pokes through. So I'm making, we figured out that to get the perfect chartreuse color, limelight and farmhouse with just a smidge of onyx. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's our color, okay? So you can see, sometimes it's hard to tell until you can see it against the original color. So that you see how it's a lot more green 
than the farmhouse, but if I put the green next to it, you're gonna see it's a lot more yellow. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? In your coffee or tea? Okay. And I do like that this is so bright. Um, we may tone it down, we may not. So I'm gonna, I haven't done, I haven't done just a, a blend, just a simple blend in a long time. So I'm gonna spritz this with a tiny bit of water just so this kind of smooths out. I'll try it. And then, I, I don't know where we're going, but I kind of feel like I wanna, see what happens here. I don't know if we'll end up with any of our um, camo showing. We may, we may not. When I get a little hair, I just kind of go the opposite way. Um, so far these have been pretty good, but you guys, I'm so hard on my brushes. I feel bad critiquing anybody's brush too much. Now, I, and I'm kind of digging in, kind of digging in. So a normal person doing this probably would be able to almost get full coverage at this point. So I'm feeling like what I want to do, I want to get this on here. I don't want it to totally dry, but I want to get some on here and let it dry a bit. Um, I did a piece years ago uh, with Dixie Bell paint. And what I did was I kind of just, I really, I got the colors on and then I really worked on just blending like this. Kind of kind of swirly, but I had to do a few coats to get it on there, and I think I might have to do the same thing here. So let's just get a coat on all the way around while we chat. Yeah, I'm really digging it. I mean, we're gonna have texture and layer here. So even though, but I mostly, this layer isn't gonna, I don't know. Well, I, I don't wanna say it's not gonna show, cause it, it kinda, it will always show a little bit, just like any painting, whatever you've got underneath it, unless you're doing multiple coats, will always show. That's why people use, um, you know, uh, gesso underneath their paintings. So right now what I'm kind of playing with, hey Denise, right now what I'm kind of playing with is as I'm putting it on, I'm looking to see what happens. Sorry, this needs a little stopper in there. I'm looking to see what happens as I put the chartreuse on over it. I'm looking to see what kind of um, effect I'm getting. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this on your camera. Oh, no. I am a morning person, but lately it's not been happy. So you can see here, I don't know if you can kind of tell I'm going on with a singular color, but I'm definitely getting the mottled tones of what we did underneath. I feel like I need to, I'm gonna, I think my smush and mushing broke a few of my, of my uh, bristles here. I need to pull them out. Oh God, what for dear child, what for? It's, is it just like that was what he was used to and that's what he's gonna do? Like, I don't understand. There's an old bristle. I don't understand how my husband does it. He, he gets up at like six or seven, goes into work in his room. He doesn't really come out. Like, I just can't sit still that long. Um, but he's in meetings and he'll come down and get his lunch and sometimes he'll run an errand or something during the day, but for the most part, he is just there. Um, I just, I cannot sit still that long. Um, God help me. And, um, but then on the weekends, you guys, he'll sleep until like, he can sleep until like 11, 12, 1, 2. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I just, once my body gets in a groove, I don't, I don't know that I can, 
shift it that much on the weekends, you know? I've always wondered how, like, nurses and doctors and stuff, when they're on call or not on call, like, how they can shift their body clock. I mean, I can't even get my body clock to work right now with one schedule working from home. And even when I am... Even when I am in a normal schedule, I will often like just collapse in the afternoon. I have to start over. All right, let's tilt you up a little now. I'm gonna move you back and tilt you up so you can see what's happening. All right, so first of all, I, I don't know if you can see, but this color is amazing. And I think we're gonna keep going and then keep layering on here. That's what I'm feeling like, is that, is that a little bit drier? Not quite. Let's keep going. I don't want to, I don't want to keep pulling off the paint. Now, but just to uh, test the theory, if I were wanting to pull off the paint, you know, in different ways to get whatever's underneath, we can kind of play around that way. Because I do, we are going to do something fun. I just don't know what it is yet. So let's get that on there. Do you see how little paint I'm using, you guys? I love this color too. I just pour it. Um, let's switch it around. I don't have my assistant here, Jonna, to flip it over. So let's just at least go get on the other side. There we go, and get that done. Oh my gosh, she was so adorable yesterday. She just ran out there and she started talking to the lady who had the furniture. It's like, hi, I'm Tanglewood Sue's intern. And I thought this woman was gonna be like, um, and what? And uh, she's like, oh yeah, I know Tanglewood Sue, which was sweet. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Shaz, are you in the UK too? I think I knew that. So anyway, I'm trying to work today. I'm trying to, um, I'm working on this, uh, on the courses, getting all of our classes scheduled. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm flipping around from page to page and I've just lost my way. Oh my gosh, and then I had that big meeting, which was really fun, but I swear, it wasn't until I got in the car and started driving over here, I'm like, I gotta get out of the house. I have got to get out of the house. And um, I get in the car, and I am yawning all the way here. I'm better now, I've been here for an hour or so doing some other work. But I was like, I just need to change a pace. I just need to change the scenery. And it wasn't until then that I realized that I'm not loopy, I'm exhausted. I miss, wait, coming to what? Wait, I missed the last sentence. All right, so I'm gonna fill this in here. I got a, my fan broke. I did have a nice breeze going and then it stopped. It was from the 1940s, so I guess it's decided it's time was done. Oh, coming to the shop. Oh, Brenda, hey Brenda, I didn't even see that was you. Wendy, it is um, farmhouse eccentric and eccentric lime mixed together with about a drop of onyx. Onyx kind of just like, just saddens it just a little bit. Oh gosh, yes, Tammy. I was just saying we need to thank Nick for that for sure. I think what we're going to do, you guys, is I'm going to, we did the kind of camo underneath, right? So we're gonna put the chartreuse on top and let that basically dry. Then I think we'll go back. I don't know if we'll do camo on top, but we're gonna use some of the colors that we figured out in that phase to kind of give this some layering. I'm not sure if we wanna layer or do we wanna blend? I just don't know, do we wanna ombre? So it's just gonna have to come to us, I think, as we go. There we go. 
Uh, oh, you're welcome, my dear. Always. And these are the Miss Lillian's colors. And we just got a full shipment in. So we are fully stocked in Miss Lillian. And um, Debbie's last post said that my order number was in the group that was being packed now. And so hopefully that means I'll get my DIY order in the next um, in the next month or so. Where did I put my, oh goodness gracious. Goodness me. All right, yeah, this is, this is nice. I'm liking that. Now, here's the thing with yellows. We've talked about yellows before, and now that we've gone chartreuse, it is very yellow. Nick, it would, aw. Um, yellows require a lot of layers. If you guys do custom work for people, this is what I've learned when I do my quotes. If you want custom and you want either orange or yellow or white, I'm charging, I'm upcharging for that because of how many layers. And we, we all know I'm going to upcharge for black. So here, we need to make some more paint. Um, now, you guys might be like, Sue, why don't you just make it all at once and make one color and put a name on it and yada, yada, bing, bang. Here's why. Here's why. I like that every time I do this, I do it a little differently. I mean, that's actually, um, that helps me get some subtle variations um, even while we're putting on our, our undercoats. Lifting you up there, how's that? So you can see what I'm doing up top. So I may put a little bit more in or a little bit less in and I don't know, at the end, I mean the only thing that that's not good for is touch up. Oh, Joni, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you and happy to answer any question you have. So um, my team here can probably give you a lot of insight but in a nutshell, in a nutshell, Miss Lillian's is WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, okay? This is the color, it goes on this color, it dries this color, and it doesn't need anything on top of it. This is the perfect starter paint. Um, it's very rich, it's very pigmented, but it is a chalk paint meant to go on furniture. <laughs> okay, I've gotten much better at shipping. Wendy already had to go through this with me, but no, now my whole my whole dining room now is like boxes in numerous sizes. All right, so um, I'm putting, I'm basically doing half and half farmhouse and uh, limelight, okay? And then, oh, there's my, there's my Coke. It's under me, it's under me bum. And then I'm going to put one little drop, the onyx in there, just one little drop. And then, um, so that's Miss Lillian's. Miss Lillian's is similar, if you are familiar with chalk paints, I would say to Dixie Belle, um, Annie Sloan, that kind of level of paint. Um, <laughs> you're, you're so good to me, Wendy. Um, but, all right, so now we're just gonna, um, it does not, but unlike all of those, once you're done painting with it, you really are done. You don't need to do anything else on top. Do I still do something on top? Yes, because I sell my furniture. Uh, would I still put a top coat on if it was just going in my own house? Probably not. No, let's be honest, probably not. But since I am painting for other people and I don't wanna get that call that uh, uh, the paint just came up or this uh, close to, yeah, yeah, Wendy, I would say Wise Owl is also, um, Definitely, definitely. Can you guys hold on for one second and talk amongst yourselves? Talk about the paint, talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm gonna go see if I can find another fan because it is sticky hot in here and I can feel my energy like, like sinking. Let me go grab a fan from somebody else over here. I know there is one. Who's got a fan? Somebody's got a fan? Ooh, there's one. There's one, okay. I think 
I remember this fan. I'm gonna put it on here. I think I am fine as long as I have a breeze. But it is, it's like it needs to storm. It's like the sky needs to cry. And it's holding back its tears. But it's moist. Y'all love that word. Oh, geez, yes, there we go. Okay. All right, all is well with the world. Yes. Oh, I love you guys. I love that you took over for me. Yes. DIY paint, on the other hand, I think DIY paint almost has, wouldn't you guys agree, almost like a little cult following. It's very different than any other paint. It's hand batch crafted. It's made, um, it has no binding agents in it. It is pigment and chalk and clay. So what happens though is when you use it, it's a, it takes a little getting used to because it, uh, dry, it dries really fast. You want to have a water bottle. But what's magical about it is unlike this paint right here, I can go back in and reactivate it. Um, and that's how we ended up doing the opal dresser that um, if you go back to the beginning and watch the replay, the opal dresser we did, or maybe you were on with us last week, the only reason we were able to do that well, I mean, I could have made that happen with another paint, but it would have been really tricky and I would have had to do it kind of all at once. I don't like to paint all at once. I like to think things through. Um, I'm just getting this all on here. I'm not really worried about my brush strokes. I just want to get this layer on. Um, uh, and so you can really, really play with it. So I don't know. I just love having multiple paint brands to choose from. I did notice we got a new, um, we got a new Miss Lillian's retailer. And I was a little confused because like, I carry two different brands of paint. Yeah, I carry two brands of paint because they're so different. So I don't see me eventually also carrying um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold on just a second. I don't see me also carrying oh hello hello <laughs> yeah I'm punchy um, like, I don't see me also carrying Wise Owl or also carrying Annie Sloan or also going back to Dixie Bell because, I mean, I, I, am, I am brand loyal to the extent that that brand is unique in how it works. Uh, so, um, Miss Lillian's works kind of the same way Dixie Bell does. And so, if you're somewhere where you can only get Dixie Bell, get Dixie Bell. Um, Dixie Bell doesn't, I mean, you don't even have to put a coat on top of Dixie Bell either. I gotta say, but man, that's, that, that stuff's chalky. Like, it, you will be dusting all day long if you don't put a top coat on that, in my opinion. That's why I think a, a nice satin is always good. All right, let's see here. We're getting around the edge. I think we're, okay, we're almost dry. Let me finish this and then we'll do something on the front and we'll kind of make some decisions, maybe, about which way we wanna go. Um, also, we have, I have a video on my YouTube channel, you guys, which chalk paint to use. The only thing is I gotta update it because I made it before I was using um, Miss Lillian's. But the, you know, the information is still really good, I think. It's still relevant. Okay, so, got that on there. Got this on here. Tilt you down. There we go. I've got this. Let's work right here in this area. This color is like it's so bright. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You know what I'm gonna do when I get home, you guys? I'm so hot. It is so humid. I think I will have to jump in that pool. I told myself if I got all my work done today, I just put paint on the seat that I was about to sit on. Oh, roadside rescue, baby. The best kind. That was yesterday. 
I mean, that was a serious roadside rescue. I'm really glad we got it all. And I'm really glad that I opened that knot over my piece. And I'm really glad that um, it, didn't, it didn't actually ever come pouring down. Um, I haven't used it, haven't used what, Betty? Sorry. Wait, hold on. Fiberglass, two chairs or so, da 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 da. Oh, uh, no, I carry the, um, yeah, y'all tell me. I carry the stamps, I carry the molds, I carry the molding material, I carry, um, I just love those products um, of IOD. Do you guys want me to continue carrying the transfers? If you want me to carry them, I will carry them. I have noticed I've been selling a couple transfers a day out of the store. Oh, Miss Lynn's paid work on fiberglass. Absolutely. Yeah. So, fiberglass. So, basically, you're just talking about plastic of sorts. So, what I would do is scuff, yeah, the molds and the stamps for sure. I just love the molds and the stamps. I think they are a, a, you can use them in so many different ways. And, but I am happy to carry the, um, New piece of prints. No, I haven't seen that. Wendy hates transfers. Wendy, I'm not a transfer fan. Janet, you love the transfers. Tell, tell us what you love about the transfers. Because I think Janet's been using the transfers. Um, I, there's just a way in which I would rather teach you how to do something to get the effect of the transfer. I don't know why I'm being a transfer snob. I mean... I, Don't put them in your windows, guys, because that's what I did, and then they all faded, and that upset me. Oh, yes. I rescued that from my, uh, from Mr. Lee. It's burned. I don't know why it's burned, but I do plan on doing something really wild and fun with that, for sure. All right, so here we are. We've got this color on. This is pretty dry not crazy dry so I don't think I want to have a lot of color a lot of color a lot of color one piece prints I'll look and see haha <laughs> Janet yeah I mean they sell and and I have done things that I really love with them and you know what it's not all about me all the time um, I guess it just comes down to, I want the feedback on how you guys feel about them because I don't want to sell you something that's not going to last. Um, a stamp, well sealed, will last forever. Uh, a mold that you make and do well and, and do, it's going to last forever. And I guess I'm just not sure about these transfers because it seems like they stick to things and they have the tendency to fade and I've heard about people saying they peel up and I just don't like the idea of selling something that doesn't have a longevity. Yeah. But the thing is, you guys, if you're using transfers for something that you are using in your home, and you love the lemon transfer, or you love the japonica transfer, and, and it is a, or the, or the flowers, and it is something that just speaks to you, most likely, anybody coming to your house isn't going to be like, oh my God, that's the IOD transfer. Like, we are a unique bunch of people, guys. We truly are. And so, you know, for me, though, I'm putting my stuff on Instagram. I'm putting my stuff on Facebook. I'm putting my stuff on YouTube. You know, I, I have a tendency to want to make sure that it doesn't look like anybody else's. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more farmhouse on here, okay, and I, I, we're going we're gonna to do a little experiment. We're going to do a little experiment. I don't want to do what we did on the opal, necessarily. I'll check it out for sure. And everybody keeps trying to get me to use unicorn spit. I swear, every time I post on some other page, I go, have you tried unicorn spit? I have no desire to try unicorn spit. Y'all try it and send me a picture. 
I mean, I like the idea that it's, a, I like the idea if we're looking at it as a stain, but I'm rarely doing things that require a stain. I'm usually working with things that are not going to take a stain. So I guess that's my thing. Yes, it's almost, yeah, yeah. It's richer than Queen Bee. Just a smidge, hold on, I think I have Queen Bee right here. Do I? No, I had the other yellow. Um, yeah, Queen Bee is a little bit more brown. But here, let's, I'm gonna mix up our chartreuse, okay? And um, a little bit of the farmhouse on my brush. Not put it where it's wet. Come down here. I've heard, I mean, I just don't like the Bermuda, I don't know, I think I got turned off by the whole Bermuda blending technique thing. It's just like every single person was posting the same thing. These long streaks of these colors that I didn't really care for. I'm sorry. Is my mean coming out? I don't mean for it to. I'm just honest. It's okay. All right, so let's just see what happens if we go. All right, you see how that's a little bit more yellow? It's funny, I'm trying to decide which way my hand wants to go because I had an idea of blending this way, but I am feeling myself being very, um, I'm being very horizontal today. I'm not sure why. Okay, I'm digging it. All right, here's what we got going on, kids. And I don't know if this will be the final layer or not, but it's yellow here, okay, for Nick. I'm gonna dip. So for those of you who um, are interested in this, I, I kind of go pretty fast here on these lives. You definitely get to see me experiment with color, but I don't go too deeply into like the brushstroke or the how or the why. I get things to do what I get them to do. Um, but because I kind of have to think about that and break it down in my head, but that is definitely what we've been doing in the blending classes and we're going to be coming up with the um the master list of classes i'm super excited about it i'm going to do an intro to chalk painting so jody uh that might be a really great class for you to join me and we can get to know each other um intro to blending well actually let me name them as i named them let's paint that dang furniture already is 101 Chalk, chalk painting furniture. Um, how the heck do you get that blend is intro to blending. And let's use all the colors is advanced blending. I had to name them the way I say them. More horizontal. <laughs> Love it, yeah. Um, all right, I know, I'm just, I'm feeling this horizontal pull. I can't, I don't know why, but I just feel like I just feel like going this way today and it's working. So what I'm doing, I'm dipping in kind of more of the, the, the yellow down here. I might smoosh and mush that a little bit around the edges and kind of pull that up. Let me flip this around so you guys can see more accurate. Can you see that? So we're going from the yellow up to more of the green. And I don't think I'm gonna do ombre. Oh, Janet's got paint. Yeah, smushing is fun. Do you see how that's a little bit more yellow right there? So a little, just a little hint. So I, I guess I'm feeling it be subtle, but I'm also thinking that maybe we'll do a dark, hi Liz, um, that maybe once we do it all, what do you guys think about doing like an antique glaze on the whole thing? Like, like a dark, like a brown, almost like, kind of like, like taking her down, taking her down. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like that could be fun. So I'm gonna put in the more I should have taken off these, um, maybe I should have taken these off, but oh well. What's done is done. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the green up here and see what happens. What I'm feeling like is that it's from afar, it's gonna look like 
chartreuse, but up close, yes, like a sepia. Yep, yep, definitely, Denise. But up close, it's gonna have an effect of the mottled colors. I may have to just break down and take off this hardware because it's getting in the way of my blend. Except I want the hardware to be blended with it. So. Because I think we kind of need to let the color speak for itself a little bit. It's kind of, it's, it's got its own party going on. It doesn't need a whole lot more. And you've noticed I haven't really used water. Um, you don't need as much with Miss Lillian's as you do with Debbie's. I think I want a little bit more variation. I'm gonna go right into, hello, Ann Barrett, savior. People were like, she just lent you her truck? She just lent it to you? I'm like, yeah, that's how we roll here in Hyattsville. We're like hippie town. Yeah, there it is. So we're, we're gonna put that, that yellow, maybe all the way, I don't know. Let's go up the side a little bit with it. I might need to let it dry before the next coat. Come with me, come over here with me. There we go. I'm also, you guys will notice I've used one brush, that's it. I kind of went with a smaller brush today. I may, I may go bigger. Using the smaller brush allows me to kind of have a little bit more play with colors. I'm gonna come up. You know what this is starting to remind me of, you guys? This is starting to remind me of our ombre turquoise piece we did for my friend Rob. That, you know, it was, it was, it was from uh, white, Right? No, it was the blue to the white, but we kind of mixed it up. This is working for me right here, for sure. Just kind of layering in different shades of the same color on top of the chartreuse. And I can still see a little bit of our, of our blend coming in there. All right, I'm gonna do something crazy. Are y'all ready? I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna put a little bit of black on my brush. Just a little, just, just a smidge. Just to see. Just to see where this goes. I'm gonna just, just from the cap. Just that much. I'm gonna put a spritz of water. Where do I wanna do it? I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna do it right there just to see what happens. See, the water beads here, it doesn't, um... oh, nice to have you, Joni. Okay, there's the black. Y'all are like, she ruined it. No, no y'all are actually really good. This is kind, I kind of want to see what the glaze is gonna look like if we, if we try that. But since black and yellow make olive, I thought we'd just kind of see what happened. We can kind of get that effect with the, um, with the glazes. Like we don't have to mix it into the paint, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll flip around. 
Here she goes. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> All right, so I know it's hard to see a real color thing here. I'm gonna let this dry because we've got fluorescent lights and an iPhone and the sun coming in and all the things. But I think you can kind of tell here where we have more of the farmhouse, all right, with the chartreuse. I mean, it's definitely chartreuse. There's no doubt about that. And then we kind of go a little bit more into the lime. We wait with painted breath. And then here's the black. The black actually looks good, you guys. Let's let's go. Let's let's move back. Let's move back. Okay. Hold on. I'm, my path is blocked by everything under the sun in here. Oh. All right. Now we can see it. You gotta go. You gotta go way far back. So see how we've we've got these different tones going on. So we've got down here. We've got a little more yellow, and then a little more lime. And then there's kind of the black tone coming back in. I think what we should do is use that black tone kind of in our, I think we should use the glaze. Scroll up to Janet's other post, okay. Yes, the black gives it death. Hold on, where's Janet's post? Dang it, my computer frozen. My dog is freaking out because of the thunder. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. All right, I'll go through. If I don't see it, I'm scrolling and scrolling. What did she say, Betty? I'm so sorry. I missed Janet's comment. Can you make queen bee out of liquid sunshine? That's a really good question, Janet. Not really. And here's why. This is liquid sunshine. It's a pastel. You could try adding black and orange to it. Yeah, I got it. Thank you, darling. I have fire starter right here. I would do this for you right now, except that this is empty. This is Queen Bee. Here's my dried out can of Queen Bee, okay. You could add a little, like a little bit of black and a little bit of, um, a little bit of orange, just a tiny, tiny bit. The problem is going, it's not the tone. It's not the tone that's the issue. It's, it's the intensity of the color. So if it was like, could you go from this to, you know, um, uh, uh, gypsy green I'd be like yeah absolutely because they're both pastels but liquid sunshine is a pastel and uh, Queen Bee is more almost like a jewel tone so I don't think so what you could do do you have access to um, sorry I, when I look at myself here I'm not looking at the camera do you have access to acrylic paints because I have mixed in like some ochre, ochre, O-C-H-R-E, right? Not okra, mm, fried okra, dipped in ranch dressing. <sighs> Did I have lunch? I don't think I had lunch. <laughs> um, I'll play around with it, but use a little, use a little bit of, um, look, here's what I've done. Let me, let me set you down. Here's what I've done. When I've wanted to get a color that I can't get, if, as long as you don't tip the scale, you can keep your chalk paint. Is that how you spell it? No, I think it's O-C-H-R, ochre. It's ochre, R-A. Oh, there's, there's an H in there, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, as long as you don't tip the balance, away from the chalk nature of your paint, okay? I'm not gonna paint a whole piece in um, acrylics because it's gonna peel off, okay? It's not meant to go on furniture. I have put an underlayer of chalk paint and then used, that's it, Betty's got it, uh, and then used um, acrylics like when I did that flower power thing, but then I sealed it real tight. 
So if you want to change the color of your chalk paint, I would say get a tube of really, 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 really intense uh, uh, acrylic paints, like a really good one with high pigment, and then mix that into your chalk paint. I think it might be a, a cheaper option because I know um, that's, that's what I've done. Like when I've wanted a pink that's like crazy ass pink, that's crazier than any other pink, I go get acrylic paints and I mix them in a little bit, like that fluorescent that I love to use. Nobody's selling fluorescent chalk paint, people. You know why? Because like only me and, uh, oh, I'm blanking on her name. Who's the other gal who uses fluorescents in her paints? Oh, she's so cute. She does the portraits. Anissa, Anissa. Betty knows Anissa. She uses fluorescents too. But she uses spray paint in her pieces. I don't use spray paint. She's like, shh. She's a cutie. Um, but I don't, I don't use the spray paint, but I do love fluorescence. And I use, uh, I get um, um, acrylics. Mix them in. Just don't, just make sure the ratio, Nissa, exactly. Make sure the ratio, the ratio is still mostly chalk paint. Y'all are so funny. <gasps> Anissa, Nissa, Nissa, yes, Anissa, this and that, Anissa, this and that, yeah. Um, she uses, she uses um, fluorescent colors. I don't know. Does it, uh, Do you guys know anybody else who uses maybe blended, vin, villi, blended vintage marketplace? I think she she does some stuff with with that. But anyway, I don't think there's going to be a line of fluorescent chalk paints anytime soon for the four of us. We're just going to have to keep mixing our own. <laughs> oh, too fun, too fun. All right, you guys, I think we are there. Um, let's let this dry. I think, unlike uh, Debbie's paints, I think we will be able to play more when this dries more. And then, um, oh, does she use it too? Yeah, I guess I've seen her use fluorescence. With the pink hair? She, um, <clears throat> I've been meaning to over dye my rugs for like years. And then I saw that she did a, a live on Debbie's page using DIY paint, which I would not use to over dye a rug myself. I would not use that paint um, because every time you spill something on it, it's gonna reactivate. Um, but she, did, she, she went for it, man. It was adorable. She went for it with a roller. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I'm gonna do mine out in the yard with a hose when I finally do it. I am not rolling it. Uh, that, yes, yes. I gotta tell you guys, I, these, um, oh, did she? So here's the thing, I've, this isn't mean, this isn't, um, this isn't in any way a judgment on anyone at all, ever. But here's what I did over the past month. And this is why I'm gonna be a little far behind. And Betty and other people who are still out there, you guys are gonna to have to keep me in the loop. I unfollowed everybody. All furniture painters. All of them. Because um, I unfollowed the lives, I unfollowed Instagram, I just, none of it comes up in my feed anymore. I don't watch anybody else's stuff. Um, and this is not to be um, in any way, it's just because I can't make a sentence. I need to keep my eyes focused. Keep my eyes focused, not get swayed by what so-and-so did, not get uh, intimidated, not get even um, influenced. And I know people are like, oh no, you wanna, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting influenced and playing off each other, but um, I'm not following her. I, um, I, I checked out her page and I enjoyed her video. And if I need to figure something out, or if one of you guys says to me, Sue, you need to check this out. It's a really great technique. There's something for you to learn. I will go. This isn't about like me not feeling like I have something to learn because I do. I always do. But I switched from um, following my, my, my people, my furniture painting people, and I decided that I need to find my own vision 
and be Tanglewood Sue and come up with my own ideas and not even run the risk of um, inadvertently copying somebody else. I mean, I don't think I've ever copied anybody else, but I realized that um, I just switched and I went and I followed a lot of, uh, thank you, Lorraine. Um, I followed a lot of painters. I started, um, I want to learn about painting. I want to learn about design. I want to learn about the bigger picture bigger picture so I may not know what's going on with everybody anymore um, I'm kind of slowly like losing touch a little bit I mean I have my favorites um, and you guys have your favorites and many of our favorites overlap and I love all of these people and will I go to a conference with these people absolutely will I collaborate with these people on a live hell yes but in my daily feed I don't want to be bombarded with what other people are doing all the time because that has nothing to do with me and so I realized that it was like sucking my energy out. Like, because I would see it and I'd be like, oh, that's cool. I wonder how she did that. I should da 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 And before you knew it, like, what am I doing? I need to be doing my own stuff. I, 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 so I'm trying this for a while. Um, but don't, you're not going to offend me if you're like, hey, check that out. Or so-and-so did this or so-and-so did that. Um, they're all awesome. And I consider them all my friends. Um, and I'm still in the DIY paint retailers group, so we're all still like connected there. Um, but it was actually, I was listening to, um, aww. I was actually listening to a gal I listened to about manifesting. All right, those of you who don't want woo woo talk, just sign off, it's okay, bye. <laughs> but she was like, every time that you start going down the rabbit hole on somebody else's journey, you've just kind of stopped going on your own journey. And I thought what I was doing was appreciating, commenting. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love the way you did that. Like, I thought that I was saying thank you to them and um, supporting them and um, connecting. And it's not that I wasn't, but it's also that I was giving a little bit of my energy here and a little bit of my energy here and a little bit of my energy there. And then before you know it, it's noon and I haven't started being whatever I'm going to do. And, and just having it come here. So um, I did, I started just following, like if I see a painter that I like or a designer that I like or a place in the world, like I switched it to places, like following um, Moroccan architecture, like that's where I'm like, okay, now I can learn, yeah. Does that make sense? Woo -woo, I know. So I, I thought it was brilliant. And here's what else I'm not doing. Um, oh, my people jumped. Y'all are awesome. As soon as I go woo-woo. <laughs> uh, not looking at Facebook first thing in the morning. Now, that did help because I deleted everything, but now all I get are ads because I basically unfollowed everybody. So um, now I'm, I, it's like that or ads, so not doing it. Uh, or if I go on my personal page, it's um, the only person I like to follow there is Denise. She's on here. <laughs> she, <laughs> she cracks me up. Um... Don't go on Facebook last thing at night, sucking your energy out. Just suck it, like everything that's in your soul is just going And I was, and then you wake up in the morning and I used to wake up and be like, oh, I'll post on Instagram, I'll post something on Instagram, I'll see what everybody's doing on Facebook today. And before I know it, it's like nine o'clock and I filled up all my creativity with what other people are doing. So now I like get up, I don't look at my phone, I take my shower, and then I try to do something creative before anything can, um, get in my way but Betty you know you really do support so many of us I mean and it is not without um, us noticing and respecting and appreciating yeah um, yeah I can't turn on the TV I turned on the morning like I used to like uh, good morning America oh, I can't stand it anymore Hey, chicka babe, how are you? So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to change it up and seeing if um, I can uh, make up for my lack of sleep with not letting all of my energy seep out and also getting into comment wars, people. You think you're just looking at a comment war. Like even today, that was dumb. I shouldn't have responded to that gal who didn't like my house. Like I let her, I gave her a little piece of my energy and that was dumb uh, and I will never get that energy back. Um, 
So even watching other people's pages and seeing how people are handling, like we tell ourselves, oh, we're learning. Mm, we're kind of, kind of, but it's also kind of like a vampire sucking out what little energy. Um, Denise, oh yeah, you should, um, uh, De Denise designs NOLA, but she also uh, posts a lot of funny things that crack me up. You're working again, Diana, or what's working? Uh, feel free, you guys, if you ever want to share your pages on here. I'm happy to have you do that. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I like it. So I want you guys to get to know each other. That's the fun. Um, it's like my little cocktail party. Oh, it's cocktail. Cocktail time! Um, um, you guys are all welcome, always, if you ever want to. I mean, if you want to ask me first, that's fine. But if you guys want to share each other's pages or business pages, I'm, I'm totally down with that on the lives. Go ahead. Absolutely. Um, so I guess that's it. So um, I do know about, you know, the, the, the painters, but uh, you guys might have to educate me. <gasps> Martina from Belfast? How fantastic. I was just saying that United States, we are so boring in Belfast. What? I, right? You, you have color? <laughs> oh, yeah, I look at all these places from all over the world and all the, uh, I haven't done a whole lot of traveling, but even my trip last year with my mom, I was like, even the poorest communities, sometimes exactly the poorest communities had the most color and texture and kusadasi, oh my God, in Turkey, I mean, it was a whole, it was, um, they painted the whole project's rainbow to bring joy to this area that was so, um, devastated by poverty and economic downturns and but yet they had an initiative to paint it was the most amazing thing to see this entire I mean and we walked up there you guys it was not it, it was not uh, people who were doing financially well but there was some joy at least in walking out of their house and feeling like they weren't in a drab dingy gray awful space you know it does it totally does it totally does so um, that will be part of my nonprofit. So let's see, funding, um, funding women around the world to start their craft businesses and helping repaint low-income neighborhoods in rainbow. Do I have to get their permission? Do they have to want it rainbow? What if they say I want? What if they say I want ship? What if they say I am a fan of Joanna Gaines and I want shiplap white? <laughs> no color for you. No, I don't go, uh, yeah, Barbara, I don't go, um, Dustin Van Fleet. Um, not since I stopped selling, um, Dixie Bell. Cause he's, um, he's Dixie Bell centric, I believe. He was really sweet though. He followed, all, he, he shared a lot of my stuff when I was a Dixie Bell retailer. So no, um, no. I mean, if you guys have anybody... What if who, a boho paint scheme? Yeah, unless it's boho as we decided in the beginning, which was macrame and neutrals. If they want bohemian maximalist, oh yeah, let's do it. Izzy, I'll check, I'll, I'll, I will, maybe I'll save a time like on the weekend, like an hour where I, I, I say, okay, I'm gonna let my energy seep out and say hello to everybody. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, joining these I've been on some other groups and so I'm not following fellow retailers or fellow painters or furniture painters or sellers but I'm just following people what they're doing in their homes like that I'm loving that like these are DIYers these are these are these are the people who are like taking these ideas from all these people and putting them in their homes or painting their homes or I don't know that's where I kind of get inspired um, seeing seeing that and helping out I like to go on those pages and just kind of Help out if I can. Yeah, definitely. Paint Couture. I don't know. I just, I don't know Paint Couture. Anyway, don't take that the wrong way, you guys. I think everybody's awesome. I'm just doing, I'm just doing what I have to do for me to keep me focused and to keep my energy um, in the way I want it to go and to keep learning new things in my own way. That's all. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, you guys. Um, Oh, it's acrylic paint. Yeah. I am hot as Hades. I'm going to go home. I'm going to pour me.
is it a gin and tonic day or cold beer day? I will have to decide on the way home. But I'm loving how this is going. I hope you guys are too. Um, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I am very excited. I need to... I might stop by Lowe's if I have a mask and gloves. I feel like I, I, I want to finish this, but I feel like we got to finish this house, man. I want to finish this house. I want to finish this house. So if it's not too muggy tomorrow, maybe we'll do some house painting. Okay? All right, we'll decide. We'll decide tomorrow. Mwah. Love you guys. Have a good one.